Hello and welcome everyone. So now we are going to see the post and sending of bris girders step by step and this will be very interesting. So first of all we go for the installation of foam bugs and these foam bugs are made up of wood, plywood and they are generally mean to give a definite shape to the concrete elements and keep them separate from the surroundings or the ground or the air. After installing uh, soffit foam bug, then we install the side foam bug and they are also made of the wood, plywood and they, after setting up these foam bug, then we put the reinforcement bars and these reinforcement bars are tied together in latitudinal direction and longitudinal direction for taking both bending and shear. Now after putting all these reinforcement bars in place, then we put some bar chairs see these bar which i am calling chairs means they are going to uh, keep uh, they are made to keep something on them okay so on these bar chairs we install or we embed the post tensioning ducts okay so we are going to place the post tensioning ducts before concreting okay so all these ducts are placed into that and with these ducts there are two holes of the ducts at both end we install anchor plates and in these anchor plates you are seeing a spiral reinforcement is also there so this uh, uh, anchor plate will get embedded in the concrete so as the number of uh, ducts are there that number we have to provide the anchor plates at the both ends okay one anchor plate will be holding the bars at one end and on, from another end we will be tightening it okay after placing these uh, anchor plates then we uh, house the tendons into them tendons or the cables or the bars group of bars in all those ducts or sometimes what we do we leave the ducts uh, empty only okay and we just uh, go for the grouting operation right now so we, we may keep the ducts uh, inside the ducts um, before concreting or we may keep the tendons after concreting no problem at all so after uh, installing all those things now we will cover this by the side form work again okay so this will cover from both sides and now we have to just cover the uh, con this form work by the ends also so this are the end form works and now we can go for the next operation that is concreting and concreting is done through uh, rmc okay ready mix concrete and this is done here and after hardening of concrete only when the concrete has attained sufficient strength then also we may house the tendons into the ducts okay so you can see these uh, are the tendons placed into the ducts and now till now we have just housed the tendons they are not post tensioned now we are going to do tensioning of the tendons that's why these are uh, these beams are called post tensioned beams and all this operation we are doing mostly in the industry okay or we may do it on the site if required so mostly if uh, we are going for prefabricated elements then it is done on the industries and cast in situ fabrication then it is done on the site so here i am showing you what is uh, happening inside the industry and then they will be transported to the site so after housing the tendons into the ducts now we will post tension them so for post tensioning now we will use another post tensioning device and uh, with this anchorage plates now we will do the uh, place the anchor heads okay and with these anchor heads wedges are also placed in for each of the bars okay for each bar there will be one uh, triangular wedges placed into these anchor head holes okay after placing these anchor heads now we will uh, post tension now we will stretch these bars using hydraulic jacks or some machineries so through these machines we stretch the bar up to some length so that they get post tension now these bars are really high tensile strength bars they can take load up to 2000 kN okay like that magnitude very high strength steel is used and also we have used high strength concrete m40 50 60 like that okay so this operation is the stressing stressing of the bars and after stressing then we cut the extra length of the strands okay which is 
protruding the girders edges okay and now we can uh, uh, fill this uh, annular spaces between the tendons and the ducts because we have not done grouting okay sometimes grouting becomes necessary so if we want to do that then we what we do we first of all cover these uh, anchor heads with these anchor grout caps and these anchor grout caps will cover the anchor uh, head and on that we will place uh, these uh, pipes through which we are going to clean the entire annular spaces because there may be some elements which may block while con grouting so how do we clean we use the lime water or we can pass simply water under pressure through these holes okay and this hole is connected with the annular spaces okay so after uh, passing uh, the lime water when the lime water uh, uh, is coming out we are injecting from one end and if it is being ejected from the other end that means the annular spaces are clean then we also pass air also uh, for making sure that nothing is uh, blocking the path while grouting after uh, getting the whole annular spaces perfectly cleaned then we go for the grouting operation and this is the machine we pass the cement slurry under uh, huge pressure and this uh, cement slurry is uh, very quickly hardened okay and we inject through the injectors injections in all these holes one by one and after grouting uh, after certain uh, hours when the concrete has attained certain strength we remove these grout caps okay and this is how it looks like finally so this is uh, how we post and send the uh, girders okay and after this is uh, done then we remove it remove it from the end form uh, soffit form box and then we transport it to the site where we are going to construct the bridges so this is how one by one we place all the bridge girders on the piers okay you are seeing on the piers we are placing all these bridge girders on one by one and after placing all these bridge girders which will be acting as a beams on this we are going to place our bridge deck and deck you know deck on which we construct our roads uh, on which the traffic can be led uh, run in both direction so this is how we go for the construction of post and sun bridges most of the time in most of the metros this is being done sometimes we also go for uh, post and sunning of slabs and those slabs in the metros are given a particular shape that also is done with the similar techniques uh, for, first of all we do the placement of the form works and form works can have different shapes depending on the type of construction we are going to do and then we put the reinforcement bars we place the chair uh, uh, chair bars and on that we place the ducts and on that after placing the ducts with the anchor plates at the end then we go for the concreting okay after a concrete harden we place the tendons into the ducts and then we post tension them and then we do grouting and after that then we can uh, use that element anywhere so this is how post tensioning is done in different stages hope you must have liked it and understood it so we will be meeting with the analysis of uh, post tension or pre tension uh, psc elements in the upcoming videos also so till that stay tuned and stay safe thank you